Hey, welcome back, beautiful Capricorns. Thank you for joining me here. First card out, justice. Whoa, nice. Balance, justice. Getting some kind of transformation. Capricorn showing up in your own energy. Thriving. Birthing something new. Growth. It's like you could have... What's this? So somebody could have been thinking they were pretty slick here. Or very tricky, but... They're only hurting themselves by their selfishness. I can tell you that right now. Look, you could be over here loving yourself. Being emotionally fulfilled. Hmm. Maybe friends and work and things loving your life and loving what you're accomplishing somebody's that jealous <laughs> someone is jealous of your leadership abilities someone is jealous and someone is guilty here of being jealous of you this could be friends. I, I'm not sure. Or a third party. Can't really say third party yet. But it looks like they're jealous that you're... You're loving your life is what you're doing. You are loving your life. And someone is jealous and insecure. Because you've got a new beginning here. You could have had like a creative idea. You could have had some kind of opportunity or opportunity for something tangible happen in your life. This is an opportunity for something tangible. Usually something that's materialistic in nature happening for you. You are the Nine of Pentacles, and with this Ace of Pentacles, it could be unlimited potential here. And someone's all stressed out. Because why? Maybe they're, you know, maybe they've been making fun of you. Maybe they've been mocking you, and now they're feeling a little embarrassed because... You're achieving so much. This could be work, career. Worried, so worried that you're getting blessed or promoted or... I don't know. Oh my God. Comes around, goes around. I'm just saying. The revolving door is here of karma. Like, people don't understand. When they are jealous of somebody else's wins, when they are jealous of somebody else's blessings, when they are jealous of somebody else's successes, it usually has a funny way of just being that re it comes back and kicks them in the butt and someone's getting kicked in the butt that's the truth you're like I'm moving on I'm you know it's almost like this is being led into a victory. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. It's like being divinely guided into a victory. And it's like... You may have had to cut a lot of people out of your life. The people that were trying to keep you unstable. I don't know. There's been a lot of judgment... <sighs> 
very hurtful things. I, look. Hmm. Well, you do have, you're being led into a victory. This is a celebration, a success, a solid foundation. This is a new beginning. This is like a fresh new start for you. Like getting grounded again. Feeling like yourself again. Loving your life again. Being patient and balanced here. That's the ultimate, the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so who is this snippy little thing who's got something to say about everything? There's some snippy little broad here who has something to say about everything. All defensive because you're getting the Ten of Pentacles. Oh. oh, you reap what you sown. This is lies, deception, and it's being exposed. What is ever hid comes to light. It's like, look now. I told you, karma has a way of coming back and kicking people in the butt where they thought that they were going to get you. Yeah, and now they're angry because people don't trust them. They got to be angry at themselves. They're taking their temper out on the wrong people. They should be angry at their own choices, angry at themselves, mad at themselves. For listening to stupidity, for believing lies, for... <laughs> this is somebody interfering... Um, snoop causing trouble here and they believe that stuff so if they're going to be angry they should be angry at themselves it's just being foolish look you're the star man the brightest star in the sky okay And they're overwhelmed. Not interested in no manipulation. I've taken my power back. I am... Huh. What? Oh, somebody thinking they know all about your past. Somebody thinking that they know all about you, know all about your past, know all about your history. <laughs> oh, my Lord, have mercy. I cannot. You know what? I really am losing patience with ignorant people. I, I can't stand it. It's like these are people who think they know more about your life than you do. 
These are people who claim, make claims thinking they know about the Empress when they don't know nothing about the Empress. But they like to make claims like they know what you got going on in your life. And they like to make claims about how you got to where you were and how you getting this wish fulfillment, this happiness. Uh, it's just somebody who can't stand themselves. I'm convinced of it. After doing all these readings, it's like... I don't think they can stand themselves, people who do that. If they got to poke their nose into people's past and poke their nose into people's histories and keep poking their nose where it don't belong, and then they get angry when people start getting angry at them for doing it. Well, people are angry at this person for doing it. They don't know how to mind their own business. Like they don't. You'd think that they would learn. But they're in a bubble. They're in like complete denial. I don't know. This is a distorted feminine. This is a, like a, a total distorted feminine. Cannot see the error of their ways. Cannot see that they are causing the their own trouble in their own life by being a big mouth, by being a gossip, by being um, spreading stuff about people that they don't, they, they think that they know everything. This is a know-it-all. Nobody can tell them nothing. And other people are turning on this person. I'm <laughs> Learn your lesson. That's all I want to say. I got no time for stupid people. I, I got no time for them. And I get frustrated with it because, you know, there are serious issues going on in the world. You know, there truly is without this nit natty, petty, as I'm sticking my nose in your business kind of read. I mean, there are serious issues going on in the world. You know, I, what the hell? I got no time for, for stupid people, and I sure the heck know that Capricorn don't have time for stupid people. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just a waste of time. It's a waste of, of your time. They're a time waster. Whoever this other feminine is, they're a busybody. That's all they are. They're a know-it-all busybody who is never wrong. You never will be wrong. And there's no sense trying to talk sense to somebody who got no sense. I don't have time for it. I know you don't have time for it. That's the truth, Spirit saying. And the truth hurts, man. Like, you may not be making time for whoever this is. You may not be... You may be trying to distance yourself from people like this. And it's... It needs to go. Because it's toxic. It's very dysfunctional. It's toxic. And like I said, there are really good causes going on in the world. And... These are time wasters. These people will absorb your energy, absorb your time, and waste it. There's no point in trying to make someone... You can't make someone smart who's stupid. Now, they're stupid. I'm sorry, but they are. They're not intelligent. If they were intelligent... They wouldn't have to do what they're doing. They wouldn't have to cause you trouble. They wouldn't have to gossip. They would not be jealous. They would not be insecure. It's like, fix yourself, okay? Whoever this is needs to fix themselves. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Let them learn their own lessons. Let them learn the hard ways. Don't even bother trying to 
make sense of something that don't make sense because it does not make sense. Whoever this energy is, they're a cutthroat. They're very vindictive. They, they do things, they think they're smart doing it, but they're dumb. Like they don't realize that you see through what they're doing. They don't realize that you know what they're doing. Take care.